Here's your host, Alex Garrett. Before I get to any more guests on this podcast, I have one burning question today for the One Leg Up podcast. Why the hell is Dr. Nimat Shafiq, who is the 20th president of Columbia University, why the hell is she still president? You know, what may have started out as free speech, although encampments and zonings is, ter- is to me an act of... Uh, not peaceful, and I don't want to say an act of terrorism, but it's an act of holding a place hostage. Remember, we saw in Seattle, Chaz, that autonomous zone, how horrible that was for the businesses around there. So when I saw Ten City popping up for a cause that's really become anti-Semitic, when you say you are Hamas, when you say I am Hamas, That's not free speech. When you stand there and call for the targeting of Jews on a college campus, that's hate speech. That's not peaceful protest. That's inciting violence. You know, the left loves to say Trump incited violence on January 6th. My God, is this not inciting violence against the Jewish community? Is this not anti-Semitism? I think it is. The Free Palestine movement has become really, quite frankly, anti-Semitic. And the fact that it's hit our college campuses to the point where Jewish students and and all of the students are told to stay home. Why the hell is Dr. Shafiq still present? As now what she's allowed on this campus has spread through other campuses. No, I will not have another guest on until I address this. Because here's the fact of life. For me, Columbia University's health system saved my life. Okay, Columbia University's the University of Medicine and the, the the medical hospital attached to Columbia University saved my life. And we just had a great NICU event with the few with the doctors that saved my life in the seventy seven days I was in the hospital. And when we went through the campus of Columbia, it was so beautiful, it was peaceful, it was crowded, it was lit up for Christmas time. All that beauty has become horror. It's horrific when you see a woman standing there and masked, by the way, saying that Jews should be targeted and here's your next target, uh, terrorists. It's horrific when you hear them say, I am Hamas. Do they mean it? Are they just saying it for the hell of it? It doesn't matter. It's a threat. So... For the third time this podcast, because she's not resigned yet. How many more donors will it take before Dr. Shafiq resigns as president of Columbia University? How many donors? Is Robert Kraft pulling his donations not enough for the Columbia University board to even push for the resignation? This isn't accepting of all views. It's telling one sector of the student body, you can't come on campus because we're going to let these others riot, you know, cause tyranny, cause chaos. And for any other university president that lets this happen, shame on you too. Shame on you for making the Jewish student body feel unsafe on a place where they're supposed to learn. Shame on you for hiring educators who are promoting pro-Hamas ideology in the classroom. No, I will not have another guest on this podcast until I get this off my chest because it's bothering me. Doesn't it bother you? Shouldn't it bother you? Whatever you think of Alec Baldwin, he did not want to say Free Palestine. He did not want to hear some bull crap from a free Palestine activist. If this doesn't bother you, if the targeting of Jewish people alone doesn't bother you, then don't even listen to this anymore. You know, don't, don't 
go pound sand, as I, you know, one radio host I know, Kevin McCullough, would say. Because at one leg up with Alex Garrett, we will not be silent as the fear for Jewish people grow. That's when the voices become louder to shout down that growing fear. Say, no, you're not going to intimidate the Jewish population, the Jewish student body across all campuses, by the way. But for Columbia to be so far left that they're letting this happen and act so far left that they're letting this happen where a rabbi has to tell the Jewish student body uh, don't come into campus today, stay home and then for the entire campus to be remote shouldn't have gotten to that point shouldn't have gotten to that point I'm um I'm very enraged, and, and maybe I have to yell into the microphone, but I'm not the yelling type. I just know that this cannot be acceptable. And yes, I applaud Mayor Adams and President Biden for calling out this university and the spread of anti-Semitism on the campus. But where were they a few weeks ago, a few months ago, a few years ago, when this was really starting to build up? They are acting on it now because it's a headline. But even CUNY Law School, right? They had had an anti-Semitic speaker as commencement speaker a couple years ago. Remember that? And CUNY system, you know, I graduated from Queens and the Hillel has always been grateful. And by the way, great. And by the way, The, the hardest part and for me to digest about all this is how peaceful the American Jewish community is. Because they don't deserve this. They do not want to cause harm to anyone. Yet they are being harmed by this. It's not right. It's not right that Jewish people want to live their life, go about their day without fear And instead of recognizing that and helping them through that, the campuses where they're supposed to get a graduation and a degree from are saying, we don't care that you're peaceful. We're going to let these anarchists, that's the word I'm looking for, anarchists take over our campus and tell you how bad you are. We're going to let them say they're Hamas and not do anything. Okay, maybe some suspensions here and there, but it's not enough. It's not enough. And no, far lefties, it's not a milit. The militarization is not of the NYPD. It's of you supporting what's going on, supporting this aggressive behavior against Jewish people. That's the militarization. You are militarizing the protesters by supporting the encampments. The NYPD is not militarizing here. Let's get that straight. Let's get that right and let's get that straight. And the commenters, my fiance Gabby goes, why do you look at this? Because it burns me up. It fires me up to come to this microphone and say, look. The allowance of this to begin with. And the hiring of professors to begin with. Is not the college environment that New York City should be allowing, normalizing, or getting used to. You hire a pro-Hamas professor that sympathizes, you fire them as soon as you know what they're saying. The Ivy League is supposed to be one of the smartest ring of schools, institutions. Columbia, Princeton, Yale, Harvard, Brown. Yet they are looking like the most dumbest irresponsible campuses and insiders of anti-Semitism. 
They are inciting it. They are inciting violence. But no one's been hurt yet. Yeah, well, wait. Wait till the words become actions. Then talk to me. The whole point is to stop it before it becomes actions. From what I can see, and as someone who is of Jewish blood, and also my observations, the Jewish people, since October 7th, have done things that are far more peaceful in protest than what these agitators, the anarchists, that claim to be for free, free Palestine. No, you just want to eradicate the Jews. That's what you want to do, free Palestine movement. I'm not afraid to say that on this podcast. It's beyond Netanyahu and all that. It's beyond that at this point. It's a threat to your Jewish neighbor right here in New York City. And campuses are standing for that kind of threat? Donors, pull away your money now. NYPD, be on guard. Just thank you for protecting these campuses and these Jewish students. And campus presence, university presence, re. How do I even say this? Because there's no getting back to the image of Columbia University as a prestigious. No, this, this, is, this is not a prestigious institution anymore. And it saddens me to say that. Because the campus is so beautiful and looks prestigious. But it's not a prestigious campus anymore if they're going to let this happen. So, if you are Dr. Shafiq or other Columbia University faculty that have allowed this, I hope you get fired. I hope you get pushed to resign tomorrow. Because when those Jewish students start really getting attacked, because the words are becoming, are brewing. The anti-Semitism is brewing. There'll be blood on your hands. And I will state that firmly here on the Alex Garrett Podcast Network. It's anti-Semitic what's going on. Not free Palestine. Get it right or get the hell out of the way.